Roman mythology includes a collection of traditional stories centered on ancient origins and religious inclinations of the Roman Empire. These myths represented a core of their literature and visual arts that had an important social purpose since they reflected politics and proposed moral values. In order to let you familiar with some of the most dominating themes, we featured 10 great Roman mythology paintings. Number 1. Saturn Devouring His Son Saturn Devouring His Son is a painting by Spanish artist Francisco Goyo. It depicts the Greek myth of the Titan Cronus eating one of his offspring. Following a prophecy foretold by Gil that predicted he would be overthrown by one of his children, Saturn ate each one upon their birth. Number 2. The Feast of Venus by Peter Paul Rubens. The miraculous Feast of Venus is a Roman mythology painting by the most celebrated famous artist Peter Paul Rubens. It is a fanciful depiction of the Roman festival Veneralia, celebrated in honor of Venus Viticordia. Number 3. Venus and Mars by Sancho Botticelli. Venus and Mars is a panel painting of about 1485 by the Italian Renaissance painter Sancho Botticelli. It depicts the Roman goddess Venus, goddess of love, and Mars, the god of war, found in a situation of forest leisure surrounded by playful satyrs. Of all Roman mythology paintings, this one is the best for its stands as an allegory of beauty and value, and it is believed that it celebrated a wedding. Number 4. Amo Vincit Omnia by Clovagio. Amo Vincit Omnia is a painting by the Italian Baroque artist Clovagio. It shows Amo, the Roman Cupid, wearing dark eagle wings, half sitting on or climbing down from what appears to be a table. It is suggested that the painting refers to the domains of Marchigi Vincenzo Giustiniani, whose family ruled the island of Caius. This nobleman was enchanted with music and painting, a constructor at the time, and an astronomy scholar. Number 5. Parnassus by Andrea Mantegna. The Parnassus is a painting by the Italian Renaissance painter Andrea Mantegna, executed in 1497. The theme was suggested by the court poet, and the interpretation of the work is found in a later 15th century poem by Bettisa Fira, who described it as a representation of Mount Parnassus, including the allegory of Isabella as Venus and Francesco II Gonzaga as Mars. Number 6. Jacques Louis Davy, Mars being disarmed by Venus. Mars being disarmed by Venus is the last painting produced by the French artist Jacques Louis Davy. He began it in 1822 during his exile in Brazil and completed three years later before dying in an accident in 1825. This large scale painting depicts Venus, the goddess of love, taking off weaponry from Mars, the god of war. She is helped by the three graces and Cupid, while the god relaxes is overpowered by the beautiful goddess. Number 7. Nemesis by Albrecht Dürer. Nemesis was the Greek goddess of divine retribution, and Albrecht Dürer combined her identity here with Fortuna, the Roman goddess of victory or fortune, displayed as a winged finger on Roman coins. Number 8. Prospine by Dante Gabriel Rossetti. Prospine is an oil painting on canvas by English artist and poet Dante Gabriel Rossetti, painted in 1825 and now in Tate Britain. Rossetti began work on the painting in 1871 
and painted at least eight separate versions. The last only completed in 1882, the year of his death. Number nine, Maiden and a Game Tale by Jean Leon Jerome. Maiden and a Game Tale is an 1890 painting by the French artist Jean Leon Jerome. The motif is taken from Arvis' Metamorphoses and dips the sculptor Pygmalion kissing his statue, get a tail, and the moment in the goddess Aphrodite brings her to life. Number 10. The Birth of Venus Painting by Sanjo Battaccini The Birth of Venus is a painting by the Italian artist Sanjo Battaccini, probably executed in the mid-1480s. It dips in the goddess Venus, arriving at the shore after her birth, when she had emerged from the sea free grown. The painting is in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence, Italy, 